Hey everybody, uh, today I want to do a, uh, a quick review, uh, not too quick actually, of Doggy Dan, the online dog trainer. Um, it's a video series of dog training. I actually had this uh, a while ago and um, I took a quick look at it, kind of shelved it a little bit. Uh, I don't know why, and it went on the back burner and I kind of forgot about it, but I had mentioned it to a friend of mine who uh, I ran into not that long ago and she thanked me for telling her about the program um, and her dog was just amazingly well behaved so I decided to uh, to jump back in and take a, a good look at this program and I'm glad I did um, and I'm gonna put a I'll put a link to uh, my website um, for dog training tips below this and you can read some more about it and get some other tips but uh, if you read the about me page on the site you'll know that I've had a lot of trouble with our dog Riley over the years um, headstrong stubborn alpha male type dog um, car chaser uh, food aggressive pretty much uh, <laughs> every problem in the book and um, I wish I would have had this when I, I got Riley um, he's about two and a half I guess now almost three um, I would have solved a lot of my issues with him we actually had him go through a couple of trainers uh, and our third trainer was a professional dog trainer we brought into the house um, and his words to me after working with him for a f you know a couple of weeks well, actually a couple of days was uh, his quote was I've never had to say this before about a dog but you're gonna have to get me a pincher collar to work with this dog he said this is the first time I've ever gone beyond a standard choker collar which he also very rarely used so that gives you an idea what kind of dog he was. Anyway, let's let's get into this. Um, this is pretty much uh, in the main screen right here. You can see it's you know typical you know welcome and kind of tells you what to do and how to do it. Um, the thing that I like, um, one of the best things about this is if you look down here, uh, this is what you start out with: uh, become the pack leader and. Uh, it goes into this extensively with the five rules of being a pack leader and uh, that when I went through that the first time um, I was blown away I, uh, I I wish I would have known some of the things that he teaches uh, you know you read a lot about becoming a pack leader and um, what it means in the house for the dog to know his place and I'm pretty familiar with that I've had dogs my whole life um, although I've never had one as difficult to train as the one I have now um, but I thought it, it kind of became a an easy thing for me to be the pack leader with my dogs because they've always been kind of quiet, submissive animals um, until now. So uh, with these rules, and I can't get into them all because, you know, this is a, a, a paid product. And by the way, I think it's $47. Um, best 47 bucks I think I've ever spent in my life. Um, but, you know, it, it, it taught me had to really become like the alpha male to the dog not not you know maybe just a pack leader but to really put the dog in its place and I have young children um, and he he was difficult with you know with the kids because he once he realized that I was in charge he wanted to at least be second fiddle um, told him that my wife was was you know in that position as the alpha female and then he went down the line with the kids and um <laughs> you know one after the other until he got to my youngest one and he bullied her around quite a bit before he finally figured out that you know it wasn't going to happen and I don't think he's still too happy about that one these rules uh, if followed are are the premise of this entire program uh, and everything along here which I'll get into follows along uh, these these golden rules um, they if taken from the right from the beginning they will definitely definitely put your dog in its place and, and what you've got to remember uh, is that it's, it's better for the dog. It makes the dog happy, keeps him healthy. Um, he's better knowing, or she's better knowing her place in the house, regardless if it's a big old, you know, 110 pounder like my dog, or you know, a little three pound Chihuahua. They still are pack animals, and you've got to understand this. Uh, I think even more so maybe with smaller dogs. I, I think when we get a bigger dog, at least for me. You, you want to exert your dominance right away but a lot of people don't equate that with smaller dogs but they, they all think the same so once you get these rules down everything else becomes uh, just 
easy and follows along. Uh, it also has the puppy training module, uh, and you can see it right here, and it goes through, you know, the basic training your puppy. Um, a lot of people don't understand, <coughs> excuse me, you know, basic training of puppies uh, and being the pack leader to the puppy because they do understand this at a young age and I've seen it um, as a breeder of Labrador retrievers in years gone by watching big litters of Labradors for eight weeks being put in their place by the other dogs and, and the pecking order being established it's kind of cool but you've got to do that and you've got to do that with a puppy um, the other section I liked is the dog problems and most of the problems can be taken back to you being the pack leader it's all kind of equated back to this but it goes specifically through all the problems and issues a dog might have and um, I mean we have had <laughs> this problem uh, this problem uh, that problem uh, boy <laughs> uh, this problem this problem this problem um, and I guess this problem too. So it's been an ongoing struggle for us. But this, even though Riley's almost three, a lot of these things I can start to put into place now. And I am, and I'm starting to see a little bit of a change in him now. So this is a good section. Once you get through the pack leader section, if you're having problems with the dog, you go over there. Uh, and then dog training. Um, again, the language of dogs, which is nice. You know that what what it means when their tails are wagging, if they're possessive. Um, you know the basic training co concepts and joining a pack if you have more than one dog I usually have had more than one I only have one now um, I wouldn't bring one in until I can really get a handle on Riley because he is so dominant uh, wants to be dominant um, learning to swim I don't know that's uh, I almost had a lab so that hasn't been a problem um, and here is my absolute favorite thing uh, besides the pack leader uh, well I shouldn't say that there's a forum on here that you can go into once you join this program and you can discuss things with other people uh, but here is I love this project Moses um, this actually takes you through uh, Dan getting a dog and from eight weeks old and bringing him through this entire training session of what he does with the dog 13 14 weeks you know five months old six months old um, this, that's great. I don't think I've ever seen anybody actually do this. And the way that this is laid out is that every uh, every section of this, um, you know, you'll you'll see uh, you know the intro. But let me go into uh, my computer has been running a little slow, but we'll pull up something. Um, every every single section of this has an intro video, um, and then you'll see here's here's Dan, uh, silly picture of him, but uh, he's a great guy. Uh, puts things out very well it, it goes down to um, like this the, the feeding rule uh, golden rule number one how to feed your dog this is something that I never really thought about I would just you know feed the dog I was always taught to have everybody in the house feed the dog so he understands that everybody's in charge of his food um, this goes beyond that and then he actually just shows you how to, how to do you know look here's another video how to feed two or more dogs um, and then there's a little bonus thing and you know more stuff around food every section is built around that uh, actually out on, on consultations with owners and whatnot uh, that he you know goes to people's houses that are having the actual problems that he's talking about and solves them uh, right in front of you which I thought was was pretty good it's not like just his dogs that he's trying to show you what he's done with but you know he, he'll go and spend uh, you know doesn't film the entire thing but possibly an hour and a half you know, getting a dog to calm down uh, when someone walks through the through the door which is another big thing it explains why dogs go crazy when you come in and what to do about it uh, I knew about that ignoring a dog but I, there was more steps to that 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 I didn't know um, I consider myself to be pretty good but um, I, I, I give this this program I mean just five stars if you know if there's ten I would give it ten I, I honestly have to say I think if someone got this program and you're a dog lover and you went through it thoroughly over and over again that I, I think you could actually go out and become a professional dog trainer which is a lucrative um, business because I paid a lot of money to have uh, Riley worked with um, I can't say it was a waste of money but he was a little bit beyond what my trainer could do and um, having gone through this program 
And if I could turn back the clock, I, I think I could have uh, probably worked with him faster, uh, easier, and gotten a little bit of a hold on, on my boy before that. So um, that's it. The Doggy Dan Online Dog Trainer series is great. And uh, I'm going to put a link again right below here for the website. On my website, you can hop over, read a little bit more about it. And um, there'll be a link there. You can pick it up if you're interested or, or you know, uh, you know, find out a little more about it. I highly recommend it. You know, one of my favorite programs has always been the Kingdom of Pets um, program, and I review that on the site as well. But I think this may be uh, this may be my new favorite. Um, this guy might end up being the new Dog Whisperer. I don't know. And uh, he's got a cool accent too, so he's fun to listen to. All right. Thank you.